Now it's it's becoming much more difficult for me to see why you would want something other than this one here. Hey what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at a new Runcam camera and this is called the Runcam Phoenix Oscar Edition. This has a nice features and I've also tested its latency on PAL and NTSC 16x9 and 4x3 because it does have those options. And uh, we're going to see how well this tested. Now unfortunately I don't have any video footage to see the quality of this due to some legal issues that I've had or I've actually been framed. I'll get into that later. So just a quick rundown of the specs. It can be changed between PAL and TSC, 16x9 and 4x3. It does have wide dynamic range and we'll get into its latency in a bit. It also comes with a mounting bracket to change its size and the silicone wires and some screws. So just like any old basic camera. Now let's talk about the latency. Now it's it's becoming much more difficult for me to see why you would want something other than this one here, which is this is the Runcam Racer Nano. I think Nano 2 here. Its latency is unbelievable. Nothing makes sense anymore to me, which is kind of I'm becoming maybe biased towards this camera now for some reason because its size, its quality, it's just about everything is really great in this one. This one is obviously good as well. However, I did notice a couple issues with this. It gets really hot, like really hot. And I was only giving it five volts, like to the point where it's getting as hot as a VTX. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I, I don't think that's good for the long run. I'm not saying it's gonna die out on you, but the heat ge generated by this is, is too much on five volts. So it's soaking up a lot of current for f doing something here. And I don't know what just yet, probably the, high, the wide dynamic range, or just a microcontroller unit that's being used for this camera here. Now, let's talk about the latency. Well, the latency for this one right here is between 22 milliseconds and 31.4 milliseconds. With the LED turning on, it was roughly between 22 milliseconds to we can say 24 milliseconds. And when you turn off the LED, usually there is an increase in latency on most cameras. And we also saw that here. It's nothing bad, it's just that that's how the cameras all usually work and that jumped up to in the 30 millisecond range. So it's still okay, but I personally prefer the nothing to really go above the 25 to 30 millisecond range. Uh, for example, the Runcam Racer Nano has great quality. It's not switchable like this one between PAL and TSC 16x9 4x3, but its latency was below like two milliseconds. So it was like between one point something milliseconds and four milliseconds. So that is a huge difference. I mean, huge difference. However, this one only takes five volts and there's no extra features. For example, this one has, you know, the VBAT so it can give you the OSD information. It also, you can also control the OSD of the camera itself through the Betafly OSD. You also do have a UART right here, which is a really nice addition. And um, yeah, in terms of video quality, I think both of them are okay. I mean, I've seen online. I'm not going to say I've tested them. But, uh, you know, if this one performs really great, and a lot of people are saying actually it does look really good, I, I personally just want to grab one of these. Look how tiny this thing is. This is a nano. This is a micro. And if you don't have anything that fits a nano, what's really cool about this one is to give you the adapter to make it basically this size so you can fit it on any quad you want and if that doesn't fit then if you probably have an older camera like for example just another camera that's a micro then they usually give you the adapter to make it into the hs1177 type camera so you could put an adapter within an adapter and still have this guy going with the lowest amount of latency i think this is the fastest camera i've ever tested from Runcam, which is really awesome usually the fastest cameras were fxt cameras i was getting like 1.9 milliseconds consistent results um but Runcam here is stepping their game up and I really like that. And um, I think this is a really great camera in my opinion. And this one's okay too, but yeah, I'm just here for the review of the latency of this one. But I still would personally recommend this one more. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out guys.